Hello, I'm Diane, a Bible teller. Jesus finished his last supper with his disciples. He has told and taught everything to his disciples, and he was given a short time. At the night before he died, the last time he could be alone, Jesus prayed. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and he says to his disciples, "Sit ye here while I shall pray." And he taketh with him Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed, and to be very happy. And saith unto them, "My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch." And he went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee; take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou wilt. Abba is Aramaic. Abba usually means daddy, but there is another opinion. The word "daddy" is usually used by children these days, but unlike present usage, it meant father and was used to refer to seniors of village, such as elders and teachers. If we go in detail, it's a bit complicated, so let's move on. The important thing is the word is Aramaic. The Gospel of Mark is written in Greek. But Aramaic words sometimes appear to say names of places and to literally deliver what Jesus said. Gethsemane is also Aramaic; it means oil press, and I think olive oil was made by. This is the olive mountain in Gethsemane in 1910s. Some of you who watch this video may believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and some may not. Either you can think a person like Jesus will accept his death without fear. However, the Bible describes that Jesus was afraid, and he spoke honestly about his fear. This scene was made to art pieces a lot. The Gospel of Luke says, "And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him." So angels often appears in those art pieces, and he comes and findeth them sleeping, and saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldest not thou watch one hour? And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy; neither wist they what to answer him. Jesus was afraid and lonely. He went to his disciples while he was praying, but every time he came, they were asleep. After he came back from his pray, he said quietly. And he comes the third time and says unto them, "Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. The hour is come. Behold." The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me is at hand. With torchlight, there came people with swords and staves. It was who Jesus knows well that is leading those people at front. And immediately, while he has spake, comes Judas, one of the twelve. And with him a great multitude with swords and staves, from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a token, saying, "Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Take him and lead him away safely." And as soon as he was come, he goes straight away to him, and says, "Master, master," and kissed him. There is a battle between Jesus' disciples and the priest's servants for a moment. 
one of the disciples wields a knife and cuts the ear of one of the people who came to catch Jesus. Jesus rebukes the disciple, and it is written in the Gospel of Matthew. Put up again thy sword into its place. For all day they take the sword, shall perish with the sword. We can find the name of the disciple, which is Peter, who was impatient, in the Gospel of John. Soon the situation is cleaned up and the disciples all run away. But at this urgent moment, a young man appears. It is not found in the other Gospels, but only in the Gospel of Mark. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body, and the young man laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. Scholars presume that this young man would be Mark, who wrote the Gospel of Mark. Mark was not one of the twelve, but he must have been one of the followers of Jesus. It is also known as the mark that provided the place of the Last Supper. The room where this Last Supper was held is called Synagogue. This is Synagogue in Jerusalem now. The disciples fled, and all the people who followed Jesus like Mark disappeared. The time to come is the time for Jesus to bear it. All alone. It was Diane, a Bible teller. Peace be with you.